Have you ever wondered what car you would drive if money was no object? If you weren't bound by practicalities, like the size of the boot for the shopping or the golf clubs, or whether it had a back seat for the kids? I've often pondered this myself, but I've come up with the answer. This is the one for me, this little beauty. But it's not about me, it's about stars and their cars. The cars they drive by day and the cars they dream of by night. Welcome to Stars Cars. I'm here with grumpy granddad Joe from the Derry Girls, the lovely Ian McElhinney. Not so grumpy really, are you Ian? I try not to be. I'm getting a bit grumpy these days with uh, the, the length of the COVID-19. Uh, We're all tired of it by now, but uh, there you go. We have to live with it and that's yeah. that. You arrived in this lovely Jaguar. Yeah. I take it you're not grumpy when you're driving this car? Love driving the Jag. You know, this is a very comfortable car. It's very quiet. It's very smooth. You feel relaxed. You feel secure. Nice solid car. Um, it's automatic, which at one time I would have, I wouldn't have had any interest in an automatic when I was a young fella. I loved racing the gears. To be honest, I'm not like a, a car nut at all. In fact, for years I drove whatever came along that was affordable and did the job. But other than that, I've always kind of like looked out for older cars. So I had a Jag once before, and I really liked it. And then I've had this one now for just about two and a half years. But they're all old cars. Yeah, they, they are old cars, mm. yet you're a very successful actor these days. Tell me a bit about, you know, you're, you're successful now with Derry Girls and with yeah. Game of Thrones, and obviously you've been in a lot of other stuff as well. Yeah. Tell me a bit about your career, how you got into acting, and, you know, how you got to where you are now. I got the bug when I was about 16, and I thought I was going to go to drama school after school, or that I might. Uh, but I was also a pretty good student, and my parents said, you go off and get a degree. So I did get a degree and I spent most of my time was getting the degree, doing plays with the University of Dramatic Society and things like that. And I tried to give it up, but I kind of knew that somewhere along the line I would probably have to do it. And I was eventually 30 before I said, right, I was already, by that stage I was already teaching. Uh, but I kind of knew, you know, the, the, the acting bug wasn't going to go away, so I decided, right, give it a go. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't, but at least you'll have got it out of your system. When you were cast for Derry Girls, mm. um, they were obviously looking for a, a grumpy old man. Yeah, um, yeah. Do you think, um, do you, did you ever wonder why, why they went looking for you? Uh, I, I didn't worry about that too much, to tell you the truth. I probably didn't realise then just uh, how consistently grumpy he would be throughout. <laughs> But I also love the fact that uh, the person that I'm grumpy towards is Tommy Tiernan, who's a brilliant comic and a very, very funny man. We're here to talk about cars as well as your career, mm. but uh, you arrived in your lovely Jag. Now, it's a few years old, as you this, say, you like older cars. Yeah, this is a 2007 model. It came as a very clean car. I've tried to keep it clean. It's got 100,000 on the clock, but it goes very smoothly. If it wasn't down to practicalities, if it wasn't down to money, what would your dream car be? What would you like to drive? <laughs> oh, well, so many options, aren't there? When I was a, a young fella, uh, I always thought that an E-Type Jag looked fantastic. I think I can make your teenage dream come true. Oh. Dream sequence, please. Wow. I don't believe it. <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, Ian, your boyhood dream Whoa, come true. Oh, look at that. Look at the line of that car. You know, God knows what the engine's like, but the design is stunning, you know. 1962? 16,000 miles on the clock, and yours for 150,000 pounds. Oh, That's what it's worth. Slip. <laughs> Get in, have a go. Beautiful, Take beautiful. it for a drive. Right. Ah. Now, this is, you see, this, this is the bit you imagine when you're 17 or 18. It's not so easy when you're my age, but anyway, not to worry. Well, that's probably reverse, let's see. Yeah. This should be first. Oh! Now, getting into second is proving quite difficult. We'll take a turn here. Now, I have to stop absolutely dead to get her to first. 
And needless to say, being an old car, it's no car steering, so the steering's very tight. Now you see me, now you don't. One thing I have to say is these seats are unbelievably comfortable. They're really, really well spongy sprung. They're beautiful and finished in fine leather as well. Clean into second that time. Just needed a little bit more courage with the gear stick. Steering wheel may not be great, but it's, it looks beautiful. It's very elegant. Here we go, up into third. Yes, yes! We might even manage fourth this time. Fourth, yes! Third, yes! Getting used to this gear stick now. This is great. Yes, there we go. I'm really getting into the way of it now. Oh yeah, now I'm getting excited. Now I'm beginning to feel like a racing driver. Yes, yes, yes. We could get into this after all. There we go, we're in second again. Well, that wasn't bad, Liam. Eh? Wasn't bad, wasn't bad. <laughs> well, what do you think? Would you take this home or are you going back in your own Jag? Tell you what, I'll quote you a line from the film. Go. Catch me if you can. <laughs> I hope he's paying for that.